Diamond. Also Vlog TV. So we can start off with my age, 21. Pretty young in there, young entrepreneur. I'm scouting out artists right now. And then um, working my day job, or technically my night job, over at the um, Homeless Rehabilitation Center downtown. I'm an advocate for the homeless. I don't like the percentage of how many homeless people there are in the world, but mainly how many homeless children there are in the world. But to start off, not just for in the world, but here in the city um, for now is what I'm focusing on. Um, and wanting to see them grow, wanting them to, you know, witnessing them getting better, um, getting jobs and, you know, moving on and starting their new lives. I've watched so many people coming in at my job, like, you know, come to me, I got a house, I got a job, like, and like, it, it makes me emotional because of how happy they are. Like, these people have almost nothing and like, they are extremely happy and that, that contributes to me wanting to go so hard with what I'm doing because, you know, seeing them happy makes me happy. I think that's like my light of like the day. That's like what keeps me going. And I wasn't taught like the purpose of it. I feel like if I was taught the purpose of school and how important it is when it comes to like the workforce, then I probably would have took school a lot more serious and teachers did not make it better. Like, I mean, I learned some shit, but like for me, I wanted to know what would like benefit me out in the world. I didn't want to learn about William Shakespeare. I literally told my English teacher, I said, how is William Shakespeare gonna teach me how to write my taxes? <laughs> like, how is, how is any of this gonna help? Childhood, I can't really say like, I had one. Either I was moving a lot, because my I was I grew up um, in a single father home, so I was raised by my father my entire life. So moving around with him, working with him, um, I never really got to enjoy like having friends, or, like childhood friends, unless like it was at school. But like even then, like I still don't stay in touch with childhood friends. So I was always like, I'm a daddy's girl. So whatever, wherever he was doing, I was like going. So I can't really say I had like an enjoyable childhood. Um, the person I am today and I've grown into is because of my father. My mom, I believe, left when I was two or three years old. So from there, it was, that's like all that I remember was just my father being there. Like I would see her, um, she went to prison for five years and I would like, you know, visit her in and out. Um, of, like when I just go visit her or whatever, but after that it was just like, it was just me and my dad. So wherever my dad went, of course I went and seeing him and his growth and everything where he is now, it, it kind of, it, it influences me. two brothers on my mom's side and I'm her only girl and I have four brothers and one sister on my dad's side including um, siblings that my dad um, my dad ended up raising that aren't his. Diamond is my best friend. Bestest buds in the whole entire galaxies. She is very, very loyal, a hustler, a go-getter for sure. Um, very intuitive, especially for her age. She comes off a lot more mature and older than how old she really is. She's kind, empathetic, stern, disciplined, and very, 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 very driven. She has a vision that you don't get at that young of an age. Like it's rare that people are really that sure of what they wanna be and what they wanna accomplish. Like when she has something in mind, she just 
stuck on it until it gets finished or accomplished. I knew Diamond off Facebook. I first met her at um, 3041. She was throwing a show. And then I invited her to our old studio, 2035 Studios, just to like come chop it up, sit through some sessions, and then just build from there. He's hands down one of the best people I've ever met and one of the best people you're ever gonna know. Um, when you get the chance to cross paths with her, don't waste the opportunity. As a visionary, when you look out in the world, you, you know, you enjoy the things that are there, but then you also want to figure out how you can make them better and figure out what's missing. I wanted to contribute something to the world. I wanted to take what was in my mind and what the constant thoughts that I've, like the visions that I see out well, in my mind, I wanted to put them out in the world. Um, I felt like the way that I think and how I can apply the work physically can be of use and asset to other people. I don't talk myself out of doing things. If I know that I'm capable of doing it, and that's my first essential thought, that's how that is gonna end. I'm gonna start with that positive thought and I'm gonna end on that positive thought um, and just work through it. Because if I constantly say, oh, I'm not, oh, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna get it done. And I think that's like what fear is. I don't drive off. Fear just to me just, it, it doesn't exist. Reason why I started Vlog TV, uh, I would honestly say that I felt it was something that was needed in the city. Give it that no one is really um, per se doing what I'm doing. When it comes to uh, public relations and marketing, um, different artists and helping manage different brands and really put Milwaukee on the forefront. So uh, what Vlog TV is, is a public relations and digital marketing company, well agency. And we handle everything from PR and branding, uh, digital development, event production, uh, talent management. And with Vlog TV, it's literally people stepping into my creative mind and then showing them how I can help and enhance, you know, your growth when it comes to digital marketing. So it's like I apply everything. <laughs> like I literally take whatever's in my head, put it on a piece of paper, hand it to you, and we just go over what I can do for you and what you know you already have in mind. My extreme passion for growth development and being an entrepreneurial vanguard led to the establishment of Vlog TV. This company is strictly built on the strength and wellness of proving there is and can be a company that actually cares about our clients, crafts, skills, and unique talents just as much as they do. I will go where the hubs are. I will go where people are actually working, like Atlanta, New York, LA, um, maybe Chicago, um, Nashville. And I feel like I can communicate better with them than I can here. I would honestly go crazy here. Like I would, I would turn into Kanye. Like, <laughs> like not political Kanye. Like that creative, crazy Kanye. Like if I feel that there's more that I can, I can help that nobody's really trying to listen to me, it drives me insane. I don't think people really take it as serious as I do. Um, like art, like their art as serious as I do. It can be very selfish. And it's not like I don't want to be around people or give, but it's like a precautionary because I know that 
you know, back then, if I was too open or, you know, too nice to people, they would like use me and I didn't like that. So I grew to like, not bottle it up, but just like hold it more to myself, like my energy and my vibes and my love to myself before like I can give it out to the world. I'm loyal to a fault as well. Um, a lot of people don't understand that, but being loyal to a fault is a gift and a curse because no matter how much you may hurt me or put me down, my love for you would never end. Energy is so powerful, honestly. God is real. She is definitely real. Yes, God is a female. Yes, God is a woman. Fight me if you think otherwise, but that's, that's what I'm standing on. I'm a very spiritual person. Um, so when I do speak on energy, I really mean that shit to the T. I wouldn't say like when you've 100% figured yourself out, but when you really like come to like the conclusion that, okay, this is who I am, this is what I do. People try to feed off that energy because they, they feel, they know that, you know, you're in this wonderful space and they're like, I want that. I want to feel that energy. And they're going to try each and everything to try to drain you. And you just can't let that happen. I feed off that type of stuff. I have to, because then, I feel like if I didn't, I'd be failing myself. I would be breaking every single vow that I vowed to myself. 